What is going on y'all? It's your boy AJB, the IMG, bringing you guys back another quick video. And today, in this video, we're going to be doing another upgrade to the 5.0, the Genesis. And that upgrade is going to be removing the stock 82mm throttle body and upgrading the stock 82mm throttle body with a ported 85mm throttle body. So again, not going to make crazy power gains, but for those that are looking to maximize the power on the car, I think this is a great way to do it at a pretty decent and reasonable price. Now, excuse the, the recycling in the background, but the way that I went about getting this portal, this throttle body, excuse me, ported, was all I did was go online, I found a used throttle body, and I sent it to uh, Extrude Home AFM, so I'll get you guys the link in the description below, so you guys can contact them if you'd like. Uh, very easy, very fast, quick service definitely recommend them it's about $250 again shipped straight to my doorstep all that included and yeah I don't think it took very long but they ported it I think they did a pretty good job for the most part I don't know if you guys can see all that but they did a pretty good job and our 250s I think you know maybe on the more expensive side there was a gentleman by the name of Max Bohr who was porting throttle bodies and doing a really good job in the car community for I think hundred dollars Unfortunately, he passed away last year, so you know I, I wasn't able to get in contact with him. I was just doing a little bit of research today, and I found that out. So, you know, if you guys are looking to get your throttle bodies ported, I definitely recommend reaching out to these guys, Extrude Home, or you know, finding any machinery or machine company that you guys have near you. Um, so we're gonna take you guys through a couple of the first steps. Uh, I've already gotten a couple steps completed. The first step is really gonna be to take that intake off. So. Whatever hoses you guys have or clamps on your intake, I recommend removing that, and I'll be swapping this intake out at some point. It's just kind of standstill for now. Uh, so if anybody's interested in it, let me know. Uh, but if not, I'll most likely be swapping this out uh, for Geptune intake when I get the time to pre-order that. But what you're gonna do is take that intake off, and then once you take your intake off, there are going to be four bolts that are 10 millimeter. Actually, I think there's more. No, there's, yeah, there's four. I've taken three off so far. You're gonna take these these bolts off that basically bolt it right to the manifold. Why don't you take those off? Again, that's gonna be a 10 millimeter, so if you have any 10 millimeter socket, you can take those off. You're also gonna wanna go ahead and unclip this little sensor right here that connects right to the throttle body again don't break it it's also going to be held into place by this little clamp holder as well so remove you can remove the clamp and then remove it from the holder and just put it off to the side and once these bolts are off you're going to want to go ahead and remove these hoses that you see down here below so there's a couple hoses i believe there's looks like there might be two i'll have to double check here, let me actually reorient my camera so you guys can kind of get maybe a better idea. I think there's like, I think there's two. But I'm gonna take and remove this last bolt off and then I will go ahead and get back to you guys when I have these hoses removed. All right, quick intermission guys. So we got all the bolts removed. So this is what it looks like when all the bolts are removed. It's a little dirty. But once all the bolts are removed, then you can go ahead and, as I said, remove these hoses and just replace and bolt on. So I'll get back to you guys in three, two, one. All right, so we've got the old throttle body off, new throttle body on. Again, I might have said to bolt it up before, but do not bolt it up. Just take both hoses off and put the hoses on first, and then you should be able to bolt it up right away. And then put this final... Uh, clip slash sensor in and you should be all set. So I'll get back to you guys when everything is put back together All right guys one quick tip when you're putting this throttle body back on make sure you put these bottom bolts on first Before you put the top bolts on don't try to take the easier out and put the top bolts on first because you can't see the bottom bolts And you need to make sure that these screw into place So just put the bottom ones on first so that they line up and then you're gonna be able to see the top bolts much easier after and It'll be much easier to make the job flow smoother all right guys, so we got the throttle body back on. Car sounds okay, it sounds like it's a bit deeper. I'll have to test out the speed, there goes the old throttle body. Make sure you guys don't forget to put that circular plate inside the throttle body when you guys get it back from being ported. It's very important. 
you know, if you don't put that in your car, it's gonna sound damn near like a motorcycle, it's gonna sound like a Hayabusa because there will be no restricted airflow and that plate is very important. You have to use some type of metal flathead screwdriver, get somebody to help you turn the plate towards you and slide that plate in. It's not gonna be easy. You gotta push that plate in, and get it in the center. The throttle body is, you're not gonna be able to bolt up the bolts on the back of the throttle body. The, that plate needs to be in the center of that throttle body. So again, I just learned through trial and error, uh, but hopefully you guys can avoid the mistakes that I made. But I damn near felt like I almost blew up my car earlier putting that on because I completely forgot to actually put it on period. I didn't even see it. I was just moving too fast. So don't be moving too fast. Make sure you guys take your time. And um, yeah, the car sounds a bit deeper. It's got a nice deep growl to it. As far as I know, there's no lights on the dash. But we have to take it for a spin. I actually got to go and take it to the car wash because I have all that coolant <laughs> that spouted everywhere uh, when I was taking off that coolant hose off the throttle body. So I need to go get my my under my hood cleaned up and then yeah go drive the car around and see how it runs see if it uh feels like it's a little bit faster and i'll be able to report back if you guys like this type of content make sure you guys go ahead and give your boy a like you know hit the thumbs up it's free share subscribe hit the bell for more content for more genesis content and more car content and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Deuces.